The worst part about your story, Sabeel, is I know you didn't bring us any burgers. Oh. What do you got? Of course you would say that. But you know what? There are pictures. It didn't happen mm. unless there's a picture on Instagram, and that's exactly mm. what my story is about. If you are starving, then right now you need to look at the Gotham Burger Social Club's Instagram feed. They have been an Instagram sensation. They have over 140,000 followers, and I caught up with them at the Porter House restaurant in Columbus Circle in New York. I've also just been wow. dreaming about this I'm burger since last time I had it. Like, I swear to God. Mouth watering, finger licking, delicious burgers they will make you lose your mind. And the good part is that when you want to run out the door and get that burger, you can. They actually list where that burger comes from and rate it. The guys running the Gotham Burger Social Club are a group of mostly financial advisors who go around different restaurants and judge the city's best burgers. We weren't looking to become the burger authorities of New York City. We love burgers. We love you know, hanging out with each other, having cocktails, laughs, fun. There are actually no women in this club. I was the only woman allowed for this experience, and it was phenomenal. When I got there, they start their meeting with a Pledge of Allegiance. They all stand up, salute, uh, you know, do, do the Pledge of Allegiance. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's eat, let's eat, let's go, let's go. But they absolutely adore burgers. They lose their minds for it. You know a burger's good when you take a bite and then you automatically start making that humming sound like, Contrary to our age, we're very immature. We still get turned on by food. <laughs> really? That was the, that's the sound and the sensation that you get when you're eating a burger. It was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. yeah, Even the fries have me humming. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I asked the other guys to kind of describe the different burgers they had in front of them to me. It's one of my favorite burgers. There really has a different factor in the spice. The jalapeno just adds something to it. So they meet every second Tuesday of every month. And the way they started was they were just a group of friends who would go like Little Italy and just have like some spaghetti and some pasta. But then they really wanted to do burgers, so they started doing it and posting it to Instagram just for themselves. But what you have to know is that these guys are honest. It's the real deal. We've really become the most trusted palette on Instagram because we don't we don't fudge our reviews. We're not getting paid for our reviews. We're as honest as we can be, and a lot of people really appreciate that. This is just, you know, they pay for do the they, burgers themselves. They, they, they don't eat for free? They, no, no, they don't eat for free. Really? I mean, they're, they're, they're well they don't give them a guys. discount? They're, well, not everybody's cheap. <laughs> oh, sick bird! How about that? Wow. <laughs> They're well-to-do guys. They're financial He's advisors. Buying everybody and they five guys, but Sabeel today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll live. I'll live. I had better yeah. burgers than that. Okay. So once they're done eating the different burgers, <laughs> they then judge them. Uh, but then they rate them. I asked Mike if there's a perfect ten. He said absolutely not. The best you can get is a nine on these burgers. They don't really? give out a ten. You can't reach the ideal. So very few burgers in New York City actually get a nine or above in our book. There is no perfect 10. It's almost a, we're constantly chasing the 10. <laughs> As men enter middle age, they, their friendships fall off and they lose all their friends. Women can just sort of go out for coffee very informally and keep their friendships, but men need like something to bond. I think it's like a bunch of guys hanging out and this is the thing they do and it's cool. Alex, you seem riveted to this story. What do you think? Uh, who cares? Excellent. <laughs> I care. Thank you. Check out their burgers. Not everybody thinks like Alex.